let's get started. This is a quick screencast on therms uh, to answer the question, what is therms and what is it used for? Uh, therms stands for the report management system. Uh, it's a security reporting and security guard management system. Uh, basically, it is for security companies and private security organizations to use uh, for communication between staff uh, to be easier and faster. Uh, keep records of security related activity at different locations that security organizations work for. Uh, and it also delivers reports to clients uh, or property managers that hire the security company. This, what we're looking at here is the dashboard. Uh, the background colors can be changed, so yours may look slightly different. Uh, we're constantly adding features, so if you watch this in a week from now, there may be some more uh, panels on the dashboard here. So I'll get right into it. Uh, the dashboard obviously here shows us uh, users online, and uh, so I'm logged in here. You can see uh, James Dean, security officer number 103. Uh, these are the other folks that are logged in online right now. This number right here can be changed. It shows how long since they logged into the dashboard page. Um, sometimes you'll see a chat widget up here. You can click on it and it can go to chat with different people. Recent bulletins uh, for the company, we'll get into that in a minute, uh, the reports section. Uh, depending if you're logged in as a regular user or a supervisor, you'll see in progress and pending approval. Uh, we'll get into that later also. If your company uses dispatch, uh, logging calls for service, uh, requesting security officer, or, or if your company has patrol, uh, the patrol calls will show here for the different stats, 24 hours, 40 hours, or a week. However your company chooses to organize that. BOLOs, uh, a common term in law enforcement and private security, uh, stands for be on the lookout. And these are different uh, warnings for staff to communicate to each other. So say I'm working at a location uh, Monday through Thursday at nighttime and then somebody works the Friday through Sunday shift. I would post a BOLO if I had something to relay along to that other person working the shift. Uh, and here's some location activity. So we'll get into it. The, the first thing that we use Therms for is communication. So obviously if we go into the mail tab here on the menu, uh, this may look different also on mobile. But it all has the same modules. So if I want to send a message, I can send it to John Doe and um, I can give him a message. Fire it away. Uh, that will send it over to John Doe and he can reply to it. It would show up here and I could read it and reply back. So that's one way to communicate. Uh, bulletins. The bulletins are for a company, everyone in the organization to see. So here it looks like John Doe posted congratulations everyone. Um, welcome a new team member. I can comment on it. Um, leave a comment and this will post. Everybody can see that. I can create a bulletin. Um, I have a taser for sale. Say I'm getting rid of some old gear. And there we go. Oh, it's telling me I need a little more text. I can put in a number here. And there we go. Save it. So everybody in the company will see that bulletin. It's a great way to communicate information. If you go back to the dashboard, it says I have a taser for sale. They click on it. Everybody can see that. Uh, so bulletins are great. Uh, you'll also be able to chat between different users. If you see this little icon right here that's blinking next to the username, that shows that they're online. You click on it, and that'll let you chat with the person. Uh, that also works on mobile in the mobile app as well. Uh, OK, so going on, I'll skip reports for now. Locations, something else uh, that Therms is really great for is uh, listing all the locations that the security company provides service for uh, our security organization. And uh, I'll get into the first one here. I created some sample locations to, for this demonstration, uh, Cascade Shopping Center. Um, some companies will have a location number if they want to give it an ID. Everybody uses a different format for naming their locations, the address. Uh, You'll also see a property map right here, uh, Google Maps uh, overview. And sometimes you'll see a briefing if you have scheduling enabled in your Therms version. So again, if you use dispatch, you'll see some dispatch calls here uh, specific to this location, Cascade Shopping Center, uh, bolos. These are active bolos. There's going to be different color bolos. The, the light baby blue is 
just regular priority, orange is a medium priority, and then a red colored bolo will be high priority. I can see expired bolos. This expired on the 10th. Uh, and go back to the active bolos. You can post bolos, um, service and duties. So you'll see post orders in here uh, and duties. The difference between post orders uh, and, and duties or service and a duty is that services are something that you're gonna provide to this location. So the Cascade Shopping Center uh, patrol location perimeter, check all gates and doors, ensure everything is safe. Some other information about the location. Um, lock parking lot gates, close and lock gates after 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. This we'll get into in the reporting section. Duties are shown in green and they are specific things that we do at a location or a property. So if it were to lock the laundry rooms or parking lot gates in this matter, uh, those kind of things. So you'll see duties and different services or post orders. Sometimes you'll see different information posted in here like the local law enforcement contact information um, and it, depending on the company what the management and supervisors put in there. Uh, reports tab. So it will show recent reports for this location. Uh, so I can see there's a report here that was completed and go back. Uh, the more tab show contacts for the location. So I can click there and it's loading here, Tiffany Winklemeyer. Uh, here's her contact information. Looks like there's a note here that says property manager, contact for emergencies only. Uh, you can have maintenance uh, emergency supervisor numbers and these will have different access. So depending on your access level, if you're just a regular user in the system, you may not see all the contacts um, and maybe the supervisors will have the information to uh, a contact like this, just depending on your company's procedures. The location has files also. So we can see here the Cascade Shopping Center has one file and this looks like a property map. I can click on it, it'll take a second to load and here we go. This is a property map for the Cascade Shopping Center and that's great, it's very useful. Uh, we can upload different files here. Usually property maps are the most helpful. Uh, maybe if there's a specific form that needs to be printed out, they would be loaded here. And uh, some other information that's used for supervisor level, and that's going to be in another screencast. If you're interested in that, you can look that up. So we'll continue moving on. And staff roster, um, this is obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. And it's going to show all the users in, in your company. So uh, it's great to see the title of an officer, their badge number if that's assigned in your security company, their email address if you need to get a hold of them, a uh, phone number, which there's no number here, and user login history. There'll be some other information right here depending on what your company settings are. Um, you could see some chat history. Uh, you, you'll also be able to do some different user preferences. Um, so that's the staff roster, very helpful. Company file box. Uh, now, my files, are loaded specifically for the user that's logged in. So James Dean, if I upload a file here, they will only be seen by James Dean. No supervisor, no admin, nobody else can see them except James Dean. Organization files are gonna be things like timesheets or company specific documents. And these are available to everybody in the company. Anybody in the staff roster here can see organization files. So management or supervisors uh, may upload useful photos, uh, documents, PDFs, whatever they have, and they'll be sitting in there. So uh, I guess the meat and potatoes of therms is gonna be here in the report section. So I'm gonna go into that. Uh, very simple layout, uh, records, those are gonna be persons and vehicles uh, that you would assign to a specific location so you can track them in different reports. So right off the bat, uh, you, you can start a report and here it goes, it loads up. It automatically assigns a report number. We have a location here and I pick a location, I can save it. And then I'll go through and I'll add different uh, text, arrive to a shopping center. And not gonna get into this too much. Um, if you're interested in the details of reporting, uh, that's another full screencast gives you all the details to it. So uh, the reports are, mailed to the clients or anybody that is assigned to a location. So if I go into Cascades here and go to subscribers, I can see Tiffany Winklemeyer. Uh, she will receive any reports that are for this location. So that's pretty much what 
uh, Therms does. To sum it up, Therms has all the tools needed for security operation in one place, online, for everyone to use. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need more specific information, check out our other videos. Uh, there's constantly features being added to Therms. Um, you can go down here, click help and support, and see the different tutorial videos that we have. We have some ways to communicate. Uh, we have a community forum, really great for posting questions or answering other people's questions if you're a Therms veteran. Uh, community chat, that's uh, very helpful. You can download an app on your phone and you can chat with other Therms users, not just in your company, but outside your company as well. Or you can shoot us an email and we'll get back to you with uh, answers to your questions. And then finally, if you run into uh, an issue in Therms, say the page freezes, you have a hard time logging in or you know you're putting in the correct password or something funky renders on the screen, you would come here. Uh, first, look it up on the community forum, see if it's a common issue and we're already working on it. Uh, if not, then you click file bug, select the, the information. If it's you're on the computer or the phone that you're getting the bug on, then you would just check this box. If not, then you can select specifics, say you get it somewhere else. Um, steps to reproduce the bug. It's very helpful for us. Uh, like click on report and go here, do that, click save, and it does this. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, emails if you have any questions. And thanks for signing up for Therms.